Right, Carsten, here we are in the M3 range. Now, in Geneva, they, they showed the coupe concept, and in Frankfurt, they had the world premiere of the coupe, which is right behind us. And now, here in Tokyo, we have the world premiere of the M3 sedan. It's been a busy year for you. Absolutely busy and absolutely exciting. If this car here is a world premiere, as you rightly say, and uh, let's see how this will succeed in the marketplace. Well, let's have a look at the sedan. Have you, have you had a, an M3 saloon or sedan before? Yeah, we didn't have it in the previous model generation, but uh, in the one before we had an M3 sedan, which uh, actually even sold more than uh, 10,000 times, especially in markets where sedan concepts are still very popular. So you're expecting this to be equally popular? Absolutely, especially in markets like the US or in Asian markets. And what about compared to the coupe? What are the kind of similarities and differences between that and this? Well, obviously, all the good genes uh, from BMW M and uh, what has made this car a big success already uh, are in this car as well. But on top of that, in the sedan, you also have the added practicality, the versatility, mm. uh, added by the second door in the rear. Yeah. And uh, this car allows you to take five people with you, whereas this is designed for four people. More practical, more sensible, more fun. Even more fun, I would say, because this already generates a lot of uh, excitement uh, with the driver, for sure, as well. Now, technologically, these cars, the M3s, are the same as the 3 Series? No, they are... I way, got that wrong. They, they are way, way apart, I can assure right, you. Right, yeah, okay. I mean, at M, we always want to develop distinct cars, so therefore we do not just take single components and upgrade them, but we take a more holistic, integral approach, so we basically touch every part of the car and more than 75 or even 80 percent of the cars have been redesigned or developed from scratch specifically okay. for the M3. I stand corrected. Now finally, look up here on the wall here, we have obviously uh, the beautiful F1. There's a tagline down here saying how much F1 is in your BMW. So go on, answer me that, how much F1 is in this M3? Well, a lot like on all BMW M cars, uh, I mean you can take single components like the engine for example, high revving, uh, with up to 8,400 RPMs, which is an absolute uh, record in this segment. And uh, secondly, also materials like the carbon fiber that we're using here, yeah. they're applying um, in the terms of intelligent lightweight. This is something directly derived from the highest grades of motorsport like Formula One. Okay, Carsten, thank you very much for talking to us. Enjoy the rest of the show. You're welcome.